It's time now for the Peter Channel 5 o'clock news on this Saturday evening, October 29th, 2016. Good afternoon and evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins and I have 5 o'clock news and I'm top story to the 5 o'clock hour on this Saturday evening is Boston Award. The day before the FBI Director James B. Comey sent a letter to Congress announcing the new evidence had been discovered in the May. We waited, he's completed. Two Clinton email investigation the Justice Department strongly discouraged coming on the moving Clinton email case. Like some kind of 21st century Willy Wonka audition and obscure Elon Musk chose a prime spot on Universal Studios Hollywood back plot to it and unveil his latest attempt to energize an industry roofs that drain so far but no look like no other. Miami Mountains pitcher Jose Fernandez had cocaine in his system and was legally drunk when he was killed when a boarding accident the last month recorded. Autopsy and toxicology reports obtained Saturday by ESPN. Madrid, Spain's 10-month political deadlock is over and a new government is finally in place. But it's anybody to guess how long will it last? The Spain court will take a transgender rights for the first time in the case of a Virginia school board that wants to prevent a transgender teenager from using a boy's bathroom in his high school. St. Basile de Portugal, Spain. The town was never going to surrender without fire. Required by the French government to walk me to a micro that had a spawn cast jungle in this week. The rustic kilt up community in ancient stone. And remember the Iraqi arm forces to kiss a local boy after entering the tiny shirt as Talafar West of Mosul becomes the center of benefit influence in Iraq. Promised boy for likely to lift Aslan's pirate party. In Kai, Turkey, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says the government will soon submit a bill to Parliament and state that death penalty and men calls for execution of parties that failed coup in July. Standard Rock soon represents to North Dakota. Ask around, you'll hear stories about pipeline protesters who travel great distances. It's a tale of two electors in the ABC News, Washington Post, Trek and Paul, with ships in the tender turn out of movement and had a large event in the Trahilly Clips in a week to go to far tender turn on 16 presidential race today. And American Airlines Flight 383 was rolling down the runway at O'Hare International Airport Friday after the bank provided when a plane skidded to halt it so as lifting off. Louisville Police Detective was among two pedestrians killed early Saturday being struck by an alleged drunk driver while the officer was in a Lexington, Turkey for a fraternal order of police conference. Afforded, he said. Madrid, Spain's conservative prime minister, Mariana Rajoy, and in 10 months of political turmoil, winning the parliamentary vote to create a minority government. Taipei, Taiwan, tens of thousands of members of Taiwan, the LGBT community, marched along the capital city streets in hopes of movement toward an emerging equality. Seoul, the thousands of South Koreans took the Seoul streets Saturday calling for the resignation of President Park jong hee Berlin, German and 40s and retailers have announced they will not target sale or use of creepy con costumes events of Halloween. Groton, Connecticut, First Lady Michelle Obama was announced Saturday during a commission of the U.S. Navy's newest fast attack submarine, USS Illinois. Fairfax, Alaska, an Alaska police officer died due to a complication from eye surgery two weeks after being shot six times in a line of duty. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, a FedEx plane caught fire after landing an airport in Fort Lauderdale on Friday, stranded in the airport down for several hours. Boston State Highway officials say there have been 215,000 transactions since sale of electronic tolling got underway in the Massachusetts Turnpike. Transportation officials held on a news conference Saturday to give an update since the system went into effect Friday evening. State Highway Director Thomas Dinlin says motorists should plan for the next several weeks that they would be forced to also drive carefully, leave extra time, and consider public transportation as an alternative. Lynn, Massachusetts, Massachusetts State Police and local police are investigating the fatal shooting of a three year old man in Lynn. When AT&T Incorporated Chief Executive Rendell Stevenson and Rennes Sanders and McCoy's last minute he surprised him with a topic and a nuanced bit discussion in the Black Lives Matter and Women and Racial Justice in America. Contain express post U.S. growth in Q3, consumer spend and slows. Exxon Mobil Corporation, world's largest publicly traded oil company on Friday, reported a 30% drop in the quarterly profit that still beat Wall Street expectations as cost cuts partly offset in decline in crude prices. As they had one of the bread army made off sold his friends to readers pay the con man's victim to $277 million to settle claims that the Bellfield's money manager, Danny 2010, got rich by made off fraud at the expense of thousands of investors. But as for California, a woman in California was awarded $70 million lawsuit against Johnson Johnson claiming that the company's paper product caused her ovarian cancer. South Dakota 
Ad. Founder George Johnson surrendered to see what has canceled the project they created after a market self driving car kid after government concern. Space Station Crew coming home at 158 mission reports. A common swift from when Zed 1 and animals send the entire 10 month non breeding period, according to new research. Investigation has points of the failed rock museum set us on Friday afternoon. SpaceX released an update that investigation has been their first explosion of a Falcon 9 rocket during a test fire in space that has spoiled around the event. The GOP Trump says the global woman is a hope for all. Can no one keep Obama's common policies? Dealing with the breast cancer diagnosis is difficult enough without that. The Adam Burden and making the life harder decisions about the care and treatment of disease. And this reveals that Oscar's first male artist was set to open the public. Silicon Valley fell hard by the food tech startup Soylent that company's meal replaced with a prominence of boost productivity and more engineers. To move energy into the was one step closer to machine power efficiency. A woman in Iowa was arrested this week to have split search of voter trust in a journal election. Quarter police records show. Jerry Lynn wrote a fifth value of the million risk and was put 13 the first to read charge election misconduct. Asheville, North Carolina, Berlin's an early Waterman very sure that an entry could in what North Carolina balance fans say they could shut the door and refund with Marvel Donald Trump White House hopes. In one note, near Tand and Ground, Stop Quiver led Hillary Clinton to use a private email address for her. State Department and correspondence should be thrown on Friday. Night. Donald Trump's campaign had a catastrophic press three week while the businessman and Brennan run in a seven million and the solicit scandals during the entire election is still covered as he faced in October if it is a campaign harder. Peter Chell News Time is 5.06 on this Saturday evening here, and it's time now for O. New England Nicholas Report in Boston, Massachusetts, that shots fired at them. Vic male victim shot three times in the chest. There are full notes. In Yarmouth, Massachusetts, more accident at Wall Street and South Street, two car motor accident, check out one, two, three, two, and one. The Cape Cod Hospital and children at Boston, Massachusetts at Washington and Morris, two people were shot, ten shots were fired. There was one tremendous arrest. Peter Chell News Time is now 507 on this Saturday evening, and it's time now for a sports report tonight. The Boston Celtics will be taking on the shot on its game time, 7 o'clock in shot, while the Boston Moons will be taking on the trade for its game time, 7 o'clock. Okay, take a look at some NHL scores. Buffalo Sabres shut out the Florida Panthers, read it up, and then the NBA won score. And when it hot, shit out of the fit of a 76-104-72. Lamar Jackson's comeback win over Virginia will likely be his husband moment for Louisville. Ace Lenton and Wolverines are strong today. Stop Michigan State a pair of four-time plays. Men against men, Michigan went to Port Miles, making key plays when the Spartans did it. Oklahoma State shook up their big 12 race on Saturday by upset in number 10, West Virginia 3 and train Stillwater. Chicago after waiting in for jumping like in Boston. Local baseball fans ought to... Be true about watching pitch of Chicago Cubs game for the World Series tonight at Wrigley Field against the Cleveland Indians with the Indians have a two games one lean in the best of seven series. Peter Chandler's time is 5.08 on the Saturday evening and it's time now for a travel and transit report. Beep! Let's see me with some assistance looking good on the cap meter rail. Looking good and on the ferries they are looking good. Alright, looking at some highways and byways of knowing on this Saturday evening here. 291 westbound side of this, backed up after IE for East Stratford. 95 on the southbound side of this, backed up around Route 7 in Norwalk, Connecticut. 95 on the southbound side of this, backed up around Route 610, Connecticut, Providence. 146 on the northbound side, backed up after 295 on Lincoln Island. Route 3 on the northbound side of this, backed up Plymouth Plantation Highway, all the way up to Route 44 in Plymouth. 95 on the northbound side of this, backed up from North Plymouth Street in Albany, Route 120 in Canton. 24 on the northbound side of this, backed up around 120 in Canton. 120 on the southbound side, backed up around 24 in Canton, 20 in Randolph. Route 3 and southbound side is backed up after Route 18 in Weymouth to Derby Street in Hingham. 7 Expressway, both ends is backed up from Trail 3 in Dodgers all the way to the Mass Pike. 93 to the northbound side is backed up by the downtown Boston around the North Station. 120 to the Stubbo Girl from Great Plain Avenue in Needham all the way after Route 9 in Walsley. Mass Pike and Needham's bound side is sloped just before 128 in Weston. Central and Western Massachusetts that way is a Lincoln Gates at 91 and southbound side. It's close to 291 in Springfield due to some road work. Mass 93 on the northbound side, back around 213 up in Methuen. 195 eastbound side, back to the second main, but how is it, Boaz, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, not looking good, and not with 59. The northbound side, it is backed up, and some go back here towards Montreal. And New City, some of the southbound side, it is slow around Route 6 up in Nerman, New York. Peter Chell News Time is 509 on this Saturday evening, and it is time now for a weather report. Alright, for tonight, it's gonna go like this. 
Oh, let's look at the radar. Let's look at the radar. We're a lot of the rain shots stretching way out the Cape the Islands and a little lot of the rain shots east of Pekitty, New York, and stretching on the west central Connecticut. All right, seven day forecast for tonight. Class count about 50 degrees. That was about five months coming, coming at mini evening. For Sunday, slight like shots between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Then rain likely after 5 p.m. Most cast got six more degrees. North was about three to six miles and just pitched six percent. New percent less than seven inch possible for Sunday night. Rain mainly before 2 a.m. Well around 30 degrees. Come in and not around six miles and after midnight. Just pitches eight percent. New percent between the tip one inch possible for Monday. Most says standing the most good about 32 about 31 degrees. North about eight to eleven miles. Shift in the north around six miles coming come every midnight. So they must send in most class guy about 35 about 42 degrees. Wednesday, most of the sun in pop class about 66 about 47 degrees. Thursday, put this guy's a chest shots about 60 about 43 degrees. Just pitch with 30 percent. Friday, mostly sun in pop class about 54 about 39 degrees. And for Saturday, put this guy about 58 degrees. Australia, not near it is overcast skies, and the temperature is. Fifty-five degrees with a humidity of six nine percent, and out in Mansfield it's fifty-five, and that is gonna get for the Peter Channel. Five o'clock news on this October twenty ninth, two thousand sixteen, on a Saturday evening. I'm Bruce Good evening, goodbyes, and it's for late night news. We're about to run out to sports matter right after the World Series game for a beautiful good evening.